John Hartfield has already won $8,000. He is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. A nine-letter word. The clue is they get held up quite often. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by Kevin Johnson from Pensacola, Florida. Got a t-shirt for Kevin down there in Florida. Today, the Jack Partner bonus sprint stands at $5,000. We've knocked off three of them this week. The winner's going to get a chance to that later on in the show, and Charlie has her first two players. Charlie? She's an importer. He's our champion. From San Francisco, California, Sherry Krinsky. And originally from Utica, Ohio, John Hartfield. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Sherry? Tell me about yourself. Well, I've just started a new importing business. I'm importing ethnic clothing for large size women, for we zoftig types. Um, I've traveled on three continents. What an ethnic, what kind of ethnic clothing? Oh, well, right now from Guatemala. Oh. But from other countries, too, I hope, as my business grows. I see. And I've traveled on three continents. I speak four languages, and I do the Sunday New York Times crossword puzzle in ink. Don't you just hate people like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. Nice to have you here, Sherry. Thank you. Good luck to you. Hiya, John. Hi. Well, John's doing pretty well. I tell you, whether he does yeah, the crossword puzzle great. in ink or not, he's got $8,000, and that's in ink. And uh, pretty good, John. Anything you like to say? Uh, no, I'm just going to pay off some bills and have fun. Okay. Cruise. Uh, see, Sherry, yeah. you're the challenger. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance at that bonus worth 5000 today. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter E, Sherry. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is a tough book critic. A tough book critic. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. Thank you, Chuck. I'll take number 10. You're going to love this one. And number 3, please. M and an N. Let's try that M. And the N, please. A tough book critic. Don't see it yet, Chuck. I'll take the 9 and the 2. H and a K. Let's try the H, please. A tough book... I can't see it play the K. It's worth $500, a tough book critic. Khomeini. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and he's tough. I don't like the book, let's kill him. <laughs> Good, no, <wait> a <laughs> Just a book. One, two, three, four, five hundred. I thought of a great way for Khomeini to solve that whole thing. You know how I could do it? Give the guy who wrote the book, Rostin, what's his name? Salman Rushdie. Yeah, whatever, Salman Rushdie. Give him the six million that he said for anybody to knock him off for royalties. He'll take it right off the, right off the stands. <laughs> Building on the letter O in Khomeini, John, six letters in the word. The clue is some salesmen have meant them in cheap hotels. Some, some salesmen have meant them in cheap hotels. Ah, uh, don't see it. How about the two and a six? Enter a U. Uh, give me the U. Ah, uh, no. How about the N? No, let's stop it, Sherry. Oh, I don't see it. I'll have uh, number five, please. And number one. R and an S. Let's try the S. Some salesmen have meant them in cheap hotels. And the R? Stop her, John. Good shape. Only one left. Okay, let's go for the four and uh, the seven. B or an A? Place the A, please. Five hundred dollars. Some salesmen have meant them in cheap hotels. Ah, uh, B. Place the B. That's all three, Sherry. You know what it is? I don't know it yet. Speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. Put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you. Some salesmen have meant them in cheap hotels. Ready? Go. Sherry. Quotas. Quotas. Exactly right. Well, you both hit it about the same time you got a little earlier. <laughs> one, two, three, 
for 500. Thank you. Okay, what kind of quotas would those be? <laughs> There's socks. From the sock exchange. It's Gary. Mm -hmm. you know, socks. Kind of odd. Okay, John, Zippo, you got to get back yeah. into this. Building okay. on the letter S in quotas, nine letters in the word. The clue is some farmers grow big ones. Okay, how about a three and an eight? E Give me the C. C. The C, please. Some farmers grow big ones. How about the E? It's worth $1,000. Some farmers grow big ones. Oh, I don't see it. Let's take two more tiles. Seven and nine. There's Ed. Boy, he's grown a big one, hasn't he? How Never about the L? L? The stopper, Jerry? Well, I think I know what it is, Chuck, but I'm going to play for the money. Okay. M and an H. Could I have the M, please? And the H? I'll try it again. Number five and number two. T and a K. The T, please. And the K is a stopper. Some farmers grow big ones. Mustaches. That's right. <laughs> John, come off an $8,000 roll and get wiped out. Yeah. That's, well, that's the way this front game goes sometimes. A lot of it's luck, and but she's good. Skill comes with it. Play as well, but thank you, John. Thanks a lot. What are you going to do with all that money now? Besides uh, pay off bills, pay off bills, and uh, I don't know, buy something. Shop till you drop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sherry's got uh, fifteen hundred dollars. She's going to play Scrabble Sprint right after this. We'll be back. Thank you, Congratulations. Back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Okay, $1,500. Sherry Krinsky has all that money. You got bills? Well, this is invest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's your next market? You're going to Guatemala. What's next? Peru, I think. Peru. For those beautiful sweaters, you know, the llama hair sweaters. You do, do you know what a beacon blanket is? No. What is a, bean, a beacon blanket? A beacon blanket is a Navajo, or I don't know, it's Navajo, it's Indian. Uh -huh. You remember the blankets they used to wrap around oh, yeah, themselves? They're out of beautiful. cotton. They are. You can't yeah. get them anymore. They quit making them in the 30s. Oh, really? Well, you can get them, but they're like 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. You can get them. I'm not going to get them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, it's going to establish a time. I almost forgot what I was doing there for a second. <laughs> You're going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Okay. Remind you to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All these letters are good. No stoppers. Okay. First word, five letters. They do lots of sniffing. They do lots of sniffing. Ready? Yes. Go. F. B. F. They do lots of sniffing. O. Blob? No, and I don't blame you for going that way because it could have been, it's snobs. Mm-hmm. Really? You get that? Yeah, sort of like, what? yeah. Sort of like what? Sniffing? No. Nose in the oh, air. Oh, well, yeah. I well, know they sniffed at the same time. All right. Next word, seven letters. The horn section. The horn section. Ready? Yes. Go. L. N. F. The horn section. R. T. Antlers. Yes. Next word has eight letters. A subtitle. A Subtitle. Ready? Yes. Go. T. F. L. A subtitle. N. A. U. A subtitle. Nautilus. Yes. The next word has nine letters. People, people usually have a ball there. People usually have a ball there. Ready? Yes. Go. N. A. Y. People usually have a ball there. F. M. I. People usually. Gymnasium. That's correct. You have to do a makeup for it. Okay. For the first one. Oh. You didn't finish the first one. Didn't give you okay. the last letter. Right. Uh, five letters for the makeup words. Okay. Some of them are big bores. Some of them are big bores. Ready? Yes. Go. N. W. Some of them are big boards. Swine. That's right. 53.2. Long time. But 
if the end doesn't come up for the next person, they may be in the same boat that you're in. You never can tell. So we'll find out and see if 53.2 or less. We'll be right back. That's too bad to have. Jerry Krinsky is our champion, and we have two new contestants, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's in computer sales. He's a jewelry maker. Originally from Teaneck, New Jersey, Dorian Frankel. And originally from Cottage Grove, Minnesota, Jeff Stern. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Dorian? Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been in Los Angeles about two and a half years. I live in a wonderful fairy tale castle, which looks like a witch should live there. I think actually when I moved in, my friends were a little worried it would make me very eccentric. Wait a minute, where and, do you uh, live? And I do have a bug in my hair and a hippo on my wrist. Where do you live? Well, it's just, it's a house that looks like it was designed by a mad set designer or something. It's got is it in Beverly cardboard. Hills? No, but there I know that house. There is one on Carmelina or Mine something. Mine is a lot not... like that, but smaller and cheaper. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that place is... That, they moved that from a movie lot. I love that and, But it costs... I mean, it's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Halloween, kids get yeah. down in the front. It's, <laughs> okay, nice to have you here, Dorian. Thanks. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself, Jeff. Well, this is a sample of my jewelry. Um, That's a sample of your jewelry? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, hang Jeff. on just a minute here. Jeff, this is in wood. You do a lot of jewelry in wood? Oh, yeah, all the time. Oh. Scrabble. Okay. All right. It says... It's the, it's the crossword game you've played all your life but never quite like this. And that's for sure. It's never quite like this, isn't it? <laughs> okay. so, so, Jeff, we can designate to you the human cue card, I guess. Sure. Yeah, all right. Who won the toss backstage? I did. All right, let's go to the board. Building on the letter R, nine letters in the word, and the clue is she sometimes does her best work in the bedroom. She sometimes does her best There was an absolute work. audible, oh my gosh, from the audience. Okay, let's take number 10 and number 4. R and an N. How about the R, please? Sometimes oh She sometimes boy. does her best work in the bedroom for $500. At the N, please. Oh. oh. Well, Jeff? Well, I don't see it yet. Let me take the number 3 and the number 2. S or a C. Place that S, please. No. Doesn't work. Dorian, only one stopper left. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, number eight. O or a C? How about the C? And the O? She sometimes does her best work in the bedroom. Uh, I'll take the seven and the one. D or an E? The D. It's worth $500. You've hit them both. She sometimes does her best work in the bedroom. Decorator. That's exactly right. It's, they always lead you on. It's not a, ever uh, what you think it is. No, it Thank isn't. goodness, or we wouldn't be on the air. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five hundred. <laughs> Building on the letter E in decorator, Jeff. Seven letters in the word. The clue is, it can take a load off your mind. It can take a load off your mind. Okay. Let me take the number four and the number six. A or an M? Place the M. Place the A. Thousand dollars, Jeff. It can take a load off your mind. Mm, no guess yet. No, Let me guess. take the number one and the three. S or an H? Place the H. No, no that's stopper, Dorian. I, I'm baffled. I'll take the seven. S or an N? The end, please. You can take a load <laughs> off your mind. Okay, I know it, but uh, I'm going to try for the money. Place the S, please. Okay. Okay, I'll take the number two. Odds are 50-50. And the number nine. W and an I. The I. You can take a load off your mind. Amnesia. That's right. Good well, Jeff, you got to jump back in here now. Building on the letter A and amnesia, nine letters in the word. The clue is they're very attached to the place they grew up. They're very attached to the place they grew up. Okay. I'll take the two and the six. R or an N. Place the R. 
and the N. They're very attached to the place they grew up. Okay, I'll take two more tiles. Let me take the 7 and the 10. E or a K? Uh, the E, please. It's worth $1,000. They're very attached to the place they grew up. Don't see it. Uh, let me take the K, please. No, that's the stopper. Dorian? Well, I know it, and there's no more money. Let me just make sure. Barnacles? That's exactly right. That's it. Everybody has gotten wiped out in this particular chair. And I walk up here, and I get this. And that doesn't mean make taffy. That means take up time. I can't take up that much time. I mean, I really can't. How much? Can we get a third round in? Damn, I'm not going to dance. I don't dance. I don't dance for anybody. We got some nice gifts, though, don't we? Don't we? Do we have some nice gifts, Charlie? Great gifts. What is it? What, we have the Chica Samurai double 35 millimeter autofocus camera. Zooms from wide angle to telephoto as auto loading flash, wind and rewind, delivers twice as many photos. Furnished by Yashika Samurai. Oh, <laughs> Didn't like that shot, huh, Chris? I thought that was kind of fun. Okay, well, you got the camera, and I hope you enjoy that. I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, bad gun it. Dorian, yeah. how much you got? $1,000? Yeah. Oh, I could just huff and puff and talk about all kinds of things. We'll go to commercial and come back and do it. <laughs> Stay And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Sherry, Sherry Krensky has $1,500. She established a time of 53.2 seconds. Uh, Dorian uh, uh, Frankel, is that correct? Right. Dorian has $1,000. This is $4,000. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. Same okay. four words and no stoppers in any of these right. words. All the letters are good. Am okay. I going too fast for you? Not at all. Okay. Would you just like to get on with this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I have to do all this prep stuff, though, so, you know, it's, it's fair. Fun. Double parked by any chance? <laughs> I hope not. No, okay. First word, five letters. Okay. They do lots of sniffing. They do lots of sniffing. Ready? Ready. Go. S. Noses. Oh, what did I do? Well, you could have said snoses, but that wouldn't work either. <laughs> okay, okay, let's yeah. keep going. It's a ten second penalty, yeah. let's continue. Okay. They do lots of sniffing. Right. Ready? Ready. Go. B. S. Snubs. No. No, that's not it. Snubs. Well, that's right. Actually, we can give you that because you don't have the last letter up there. Okay. Yeah. You were lucky you didn't pick another letter because if you'd have picked another one, they'd been all over. Trouble. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, that only cost you about 20, 30 seconds. No so. problem. There we go. Okay. That gave you both problems. She had a problem with it, too. Yeah. All right. Next word. Seven letters. The horn section. The horn section. Ready? Ready. Go. L. Antlers. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That ought to save you. Maybe. Third word. Eight letters. Okay. A subtitle. A subtitle. Ready? Ready. Go. L. T N T A subtitle. U Nautilus. That's correct. So 16.2 seconds left for the last word. Okay. It has nine letters. People usually have a ball there. People usually have a ball there. Ready? Ready. Go. N M G. People usually have a ball there. U. M. Gymnasium? That's right, 6.6 .6 seconds. All over, got it. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. She was just faster on that second word. You'd have had a good time. That thing, that was tough. That, uh, that first word was unbelievable. Sherry, $1,500 in our thanks. Thank you very much for playing the game. And Dorian Frankel is going to come back with her two grand prize for five right after this. Stay with us. Frankel, 2,000. Two words that are 10 seconds. Give you another 5,000, Dorian. I'd love it. All right. <laughs> so would I. I'd like that, too. Okay. 
<sighs> First word, six letters. They give people a warm fe welcome. They give people a warm welcome. They give people a warm welcome. Ready? Ready. Go. D. M. They give people a warm welcome. E. N. Demon? Yeah. Actually, just the opposite. They give people cold feelings, but I guess they're thinking about once you've left and down there under the thing there, yeah. Okay, second word, you have three point, what, one second? Seven letters. Okay. He does his job by the numbers. He does his job by the numbers. Ready? Ready. Go. N. M. It was tough. It was tough. That last one was just too hard. In fact, they both were. Mailman. Does his job by the night. Uh, I mean, it was just too tough. It really was. Okay. okay $2,000, $5,000 goes back up to $6,000, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Come on down. Please. Starring Chuck Lorre is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red's Friendly production.